Welcome to this week's edition of HavenFootball.net's Play the Game. It was another glorious night for football as the number 15 seed Upper Marion Vikings came into Georgia King Field to take on the number 2 seed Strathaven Panthers in the first round of the PIAA D1 5A playoffs. Haven had the first series and moved the ball quickly, but the Vikings toughened up as we see in this third and seven stop for only a one yard gain. At 4th and 6, number 4 quarterback Sam Milligan tries to go outside, but Upper Marion strings it out perfectly, and the Panthers turn it over on downs. The Vikings go to their air attacks, number 5 quarterback Zaid Etheridge rolls right and throws to a wide open number 9 Michael Scavello for this great 15-yard gain. The Panthers toughen up and force this field goal by number 18 Zaris Palladino, who easily boots a 26-yarder for 3 points. And Upper Marion is on the board first, 3-0. Haven again starts strong, but the Vikings are stuffing the line as on this third and ten. Number 34, Anthony Crawford powers his way up the center, but gets planted after a three-yard gain, forcing the punt. The Vikings go right back to the air as Etheridge finds number eight, Marcus Crittenden, who splits the defenders for a 29-yard catch and run. But the Haven D steps up on 4th and 3 is the strangest play we've ever seen as Etheridge throws but the ball is batted by Austin Connor and goes straight up and down as Etheridge catches his own pass but only gains one and turns the ball over on downs. On Haven's next possession the O-line starts to open things up as number 40 Bob Fuskis goes up tackle for 17 yards. Seven plays later Crawford squeezes through the line for a one yard touchdown. Panthers take the lead 7-3. Upper Marion continues with its air attack, but number 89 Ben Faribault gets his hands up and bats this one away, forcing the punt two plays later. On their next possession, Fuskis gets the call and goes off left and gets a great block from number 57 Jackson Jeremiah and springs Fuskis for this 37 yard gain. And then Fuskis finishes the drive on this 10 yard touchdown run. Panthers are pulling away 14-3. With less than two minutes and a half, Etheridge is looking and running and makes the sensational throw to number 19, Nolan Clayton, for 17 yards, which leads us to tonight's double play of the game. District 1, 5A playoffs, fourth and five for Upper Marion. They trail 14-3. They'll snap from the Strathaven 28. Two receivers to either side, Etheridge back to pass on fourth and five, looking under heavy pressure. Connors got him again out near midfield. Ball popped out, and they're going to blow it dead. And the Panthers now with 31 seconds to go and the ball near midfield. Austin Connor with back-to-back -back sacks. Fuskas in motion. On first and 10, they give it to Crawford with running room. And straight up the middle, he goes. And look out, 40, 35, 30. It's a foot race, 20. Crawford pulling away and to the house. He will go with 20 seconds to go before halftime. The Panthers go 57 yards in the blink of an eye. Panthers up, 21-3. Upper Marion is forced to punt on their first possession of the second half, and the Panthers take only three plays as Crawford finds daylight up the middle and streaks 64 yards for the touchdown. Haven is closing the door, 28-3. The Vikings are looking for points, and Etheridge goes back to pass and barely gets the pass off to Crichton for 22 yards, down to the three. The Vikings are ready to score after an eight-play drive with first and goal, but disaster strikes as the snap goes awry, and number 81, Jay Curtis, gobbles up the fumble, stopping the drive. That starts the Panthers' nine-play drive, which finishes with this wide sweep by Fuskas, who just refuses to go down for 40 yards, completing Haven scoring. The Panthers win this first-round playoff game 35-3. Anthony Crawford led the offense with 17 carries for 194 yards for 11.4 yards per carry. But Bob Fuskas is right behind him with 12 carries for 158 yards for 13.2 yards per carry. He also led the defense with 9 tackles and a sack. 
And Austin Connor had four tackles, two tackles for a loss, and two sacks. Next week, our neighbors, the Springfield Cougars, come to George L. King Field for the second round of the PIAA 5A playoffs. Tune in again next week for another episode of HavenFootball.net's Play the Game. <laughs>